Come here, Moku. Oh. Hey, girl. You know what? All right, Hoku. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. The weather's beautiful. It's fall weather. You want to go camping? Let's go camping. Let's go camping. Come on. everyone this is Ben and thank you for joining us on the Semper Gumby channel in today's episode we were just sitting around the house and it's 71 degrees and beautiful weather so I went on a, a website to see if some spots were available and they were so Hoku and I decided to head on out for another solo night of camping so All right, gang, we have made it to camp. And we are, well, when I say we are on the Kentucky Lake, uh, the Kentucky Lake is a pretty big lake, but we are here right on the water. Uh, we're doing some primitive camping today. No electricity, no water, and no one around. It is a Saturday, and um, we're gonna go ahead and set camp up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and relax and enjoy the rest of the uh, afternoon. And it's nice and quiet. Like I said, we are in uh, just a little bit north of Parsons, Tennessee. So let's go ahead and set up camp and uh, we'll catch you guys in a little bit.
don't. This campsite is even closer on the water than last week's and it's like right down here. So we're gonna go get our fishing poles and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some, some lines in the water and you can see there's some people fishing right there and um, beautiful day. So, all right, so we just came for a little walk to check out the creek to see if there's any fish up in here. And uh, it is just a beautiful, amazing day. Couldn't ask for a, a more perfect day. I mean, look at these trees, man. The colors of the trees are just amazing. God. All right, gang. Okay, well, we've got our Starlink hooked up right there. So we've got some internet. We don't have any cell service here. Um, we got our fire pit um, ready to go. We got wood. We've got the Camp Lux shower all set to go. Wash dishes and uh, take a shower. Got the privacy curtain up. And then what we'll do is when I'm ready to take a shower, I'll just open up the uh, door here. And basically this is your privacy right here. And there'll be nobody here anyway. So, but um, you do have a little bit of privacy. So we're gonna go ahead and fire up the grill here in just a little bit. I think sunset's at 5.45 or something like that today. Um, we do lose an hour this weekend, but uh, we've, we don't have cell service, so we do have uh, we do have uh, internet, so I can FaceTime and send text, so we're good. But uh, that's the lake, and uh, I messed up. I bought my fishing pole, but I forgot to bring my lures. I can't believe that. That's a rookie mistake. I should have left it in the truck like I usually have it. I do have two rods, one telescoping and one regular rod in there, but I don't have lures and hooks. God, but uh, as you can see right here, Tennessee State Parks, Saturday to Sunday. So there is a spot right across there, but nobody's in there. And that's, uh, they do have a porta potty right there because this is, um, primitive camping no water no electricity but that's not not a problem oh shoot look does this have a hook on it look at that oh there's no hook somebody i found this on the ground and maybe i'll get lucky and find a hook <laughs> but for tonight's dinner we have steak uh and some asparagus so we're gonna go ahead and cook that up here in a little bit we're gonna fire up the grill uh, get that grill going so we'll catch you in a little bit
So tonight we're cooking on a iron skillet and I wanna thank whoever sent me that iron skillet in the mail. Um, you didn't leave a return address or anything like that. Just a little note saying, um, you know, enjoy your skillet. So whoever you guys or whoever you were that sent me the skillet, uh, thank you very much. I wanted to send you a t-shirt or, you know, uh, some decals or a coffee mug, but uh, without knowing who you are, um, can't do that. But thank you very much for the end. Uh, tonight's meal is a steak on our new skillet. So I just uh, introduced myself to one of the park rangers. Uh, the, he's the manager out here, his name is Daniel. And uh, just to let him know that I was here. And I tell you what, Tennessee park rangers are awesome. Um, if you ever see one out there, stop them and say hello. And they're great folks. So at all the parks, I have always had a positive uh, encounter with uh, all those park rangers. But uh, thank you guys for everything you do to keep our um, parks clean and safe and let's get back to dinner. All right gang, so here's tonight's meal. We got some steak and some asparagus and a Waterloo sparkling cherry limeade. So uh, let's see how this tastes on the grill or on the uh, skillet at the campsite on the Kentucky Lake. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. All right, gang, we just got done with dinner. We've had steak, asparagus, we're just chilling. We got the fire started, waiting for the sunset. And we are actually live on YouTube. And uh, we've got several people in here. And uh, so we're actually live while we're filming, so. Um, by the time you guys see this video, it'll, the live stream will be over. But um, there is no cell service here in um, where I'm at right now. And the Starlink is getting bumped off because of all these trees. So um, I don't know how long I'll uh, stay on YouTube Live. All right, gang, I am going to take my shower. Hot shower, actually.
just like that folks that hot shower is done Woo. gang we are done with dinner done with some drone footage done cleaning up the dishes got the fire going down here <sighs> got done with my shower so all it is you just sit back here and watch the fire for a little bit and then call it a night all right gang we're just chilling out by the fire and uh, what a great great afternoon and evening it's beautiful out um, it's so quiet so we're actually going to retire to go inside of the camper probably watch a movie and um, just kind of probably fall asleep but uh, it is beautiful out hey everyone we're just uh, in the camper chilling with Hoku and I'm gonna watch a movie, but we need a snack. We're actually gonna have some farmhouse thin and crispies. Never had the thin and crispies, but they're toffee flavor. Man, it's only 7 a.m. Uh, 7 p.m. and I'm already tired, ready for bed. <laughs> good probably can eat like 12 of these but hmm. so let me tell you where we're at we are at mouse tail trail state park and that's in linden tennessee a couple weeks we camped here but we were on the electrical sites and we did uh we brought tim the guy I used to work with along with us but this time around we are in the primitive camping area where there is no electricity no water and um it's it's not bad at all i mean i've got you know my lithium batteries i got my power stations you know so i've got the fan running actually i got two fan two fans running because it's kind of warm tonight. It's like 72. 
and we'll leave that running all night and but it's uh nice and quiet you know it's uh 18 dollars a night for dispersed camping uh primitive camping so there is a porta potty at the end of my um my drive camp way so or my camp driveway and uh, in case i've got to use the restroom i can head over there but anyway we're gonna call it a night hoku come here come here hoku okay come here come here, come here. <laughs> I know Hoku um, lay down no sad face <laughs> but uh, we're gonna be just chilling watch a movie I don't know what I'm gonna watch um, no Hoku um, but anyway we'll catch you guys in the morning and um, you guys have a good night Semper guys Good morning, Gumby Nation. It is oh, 6 a.m. Turn this off. Well, this was a very, very quiet campground. I think uh, it got quiet about 7.30. Once all the trucks and the boats left from the boat ramp, it was super quiet.
Hey everyone, I get a lot of questions about how do I wash dishes or how do I clean uh, up or how do I take a shower when I'm at camp, when I'm dispersed camping or boondocking or primitive camping. Well, this right here is the Camp Lux tankless water heater. And basically it allows you to use propane to heat the water for some nice hot water. Now, all I use is a little propane tank like this, and it goes into the tankless water heater here. And it does have some batteries here to uh, power up the igniter to give hot water. So let's go check it out. And I'll show you the tank that I'm using here. It's a five gallon uh, water jug that I use and then the hose for the electric pump sits in it. But then I have a 12 volt system or I use a solar power uh, generator or power station to uh, power on the electric pump. Now the two dials up here, one is for the water. And if you want maximum flow or minimum flow, I usually put it about a quarter because this thing puts out some flow. And then on here on the left side, you have your gas, your minimum and maximum, meaning how hot you want the water. And I usually leave it about half because this thing heats up like you wouldn't believe. Um, so I got everything turned on and basically with this lever here or the little push button, go ahead and push button and you got nice water in there. Right now it's cold. Oh, there you go. It's starting to warm up now and you can adjust the flow. Ooh, that's some hot water right there. You got some hot water coming out. Whew. So, and to turn it off, you just press that button in. So, if you're looking to boon, go and boondock and disperse camping and you need a, a shower or a hot water uh, tankless heater, I recommend using the Camp Lux uh, brand here because so portable and I'll show you that I'll, I'll pack it up here in just a second all of the hoses are quick disconnect except the gas so like I said if you want to enjoy a hot water shower or hot water to clean your dishes or to clean up mud or whatever check out the Camp Lux tankless water eater <laughs> <laughs> 